How have you all been? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sick, if you can't hear it. I've been sick for a few days now. It kind of sucks. Um, not the excuse. Oh, nice. Not the excuse I have for not making a video. That one's because, or the excuse for that is, I always look like a worn down mother, which is fine, except for I also feel like a worn down mother, so I just don't want to make videos. <coughs> There's going to be a lot of that, sorry. <laughs> um, but I actually have stuff to update on, and the list just keeps getting longer, so I just need to do it. Um, the boys are entertained for a second. So, oh yeah, Tony had like two weeks off of work too, so I kind of like, was just always busy with a child somewhere, get it? <laughs> anyway, um, let's start off with the crappy stuff so that this isn't a negative video the entire time. Um, oh, well, right before that, <laughs> let's start off with Clyde! So I made a video like a month ago, a little, little bit ago. And, um, saying that he doesn't really talk, I'm not worried about it, because he, um, communicates with us, no problem, we know exactly what he needs, um, but he has started talking like crazy. Last night, his new thing <laughs> is, um, we were laying in bed, and he grabbed up on my face, he goes, Mama, Mama, so I look at him, and he goes, what, which order is it, you, and me, and he gave me a big kiss. And he looked at that, da, 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 da. You and me? And he gave him a big kiss. I don't know what it means. It's just so freaking cute. <laughs> uh, his vocabulary is getting, well, normal. He's still kind of a mush mouth. Like, he doesn't want to pronounce anything, but even people who don't know him or around him enough to be able to kind of understand him, if that makes sense. Uh, even other people are starting to understand him. So, there we go. Um, first thing he's ever, he, he learned was his manners, so he's always said please and thank you. Pretty clear, uh, well, once he started to actually say them. Anyway, uh, so that's fun and exciting, and I thought that I would share, because I had already mentioned it before, but, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> cons to the pregnancy, let's do the pregnancy update, is I'm fat, uh, my metabolism has stopped, I have gained, what, six pounds already? I'm almost 14 weeks. Which is ridiculous because the baby is the size of like a matchbox car or a little bit bigger, like a Hot Wheels, like that big. I don't, I think that's from head, head to foot at this point. It hasn't, it won't start measuring from like head to butt yet. Uh, probably would be close. I'm in the second trimester. What? What? All that sickness and uh, awful crap really felt like it was taking forever, but it turns out it made everything go quicker? I don't know. It really didn't. It was awful. <laughs> um, I still have this really weird, I keep looking down at my list, sorry. Uh, really weird, this whole pregnancy is completely different from the boys. I was struggling with problems before I got pregnant with, I don't know, which I <clears throat> have still not really found out what it was, but uh, probably GI problems. I want to, so, since I had that ovarian cyst rupture, a lot of those pains have went away. Thank but um, I'm having a lot of GI trouble still. It's weird. I don't know. I've never had it before. I've had GI problems in the past, uh, continuously in the past, but not what I've been having, which is weird. And they haven't really went away, which with both of my boys, um, I had a gut of steel. Like, I, I had horrible GI tract problems like IBS and blah, 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 blah. Um, but as soon as I became pregnant with both of those two, my stomach and everything just turned into iron. I don't know how else to say it. Um, I could eat anything. Uh, it never upset my stomach. I never got a stomach ache. I loved it. It was amazing. Not this time. This time, I'm just as freaking touchy with everything. But whatever. I mean, it's a good thing to keep a clean diet. Except for, it doesn't matter because I'm getting fat. So I might as well eat the things that I want to freaking eat. Anyway. So that's fun, and I still have that weird stomach gas, so the uh, first time that I eat during the day, my stomach wells up with this gas. Like, I don't end up being gassy afterwards. Like, I don't fart throughout, like, forever throughout the day. I'm a human. I fart. Everybody farts. Get over it. But uh, it's just a buildup in my stomach. It's really weird. It's not like, it doesn't feel like nausea 
doesn't feel like indigestion or anything. I don't, it's literally my stomach is blown up with gas. I have no idea. It doesn't matter what I eat. It doesn't matter what I drink. Uh, I don't think, it's not necessarily linked to dairy or grains or so I've tried to figure it out and nothing makes a difference. I think it, it feels like it might be getting a little bit better now, but that's just because of time and maybe it'll get worse again. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know. I hope it gets better. Anyway, uh, my skin's officially started breaking out. Not really on my face, kind of on my face. Uh, it's not horrible. Um, it, go, it comes and goes. I think it has to do, I, I think it has a lot to do with how I'm feeling, if I get enough sleep or not. Um, I don't necessarily think it's hormone related. I think it's just like stress and sleep and deprivation and insomnia, all that good stuff. So, um, <clears throat> but my shoulders and stuff, that, <laughs> pretty sure that's hormones. But, um, uh, skin breakout, any other negative stuff on here? Ah, I don't know if it's just because, because I transitioned from feeling better nausea-wise, uh, between the end of the first trimester into the second one, um, but I also have been sick, so I've had a lot of drainage, so I don't necessarily have nausea anymore, like morning sickness nausea, but <coughs> randomly, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> randomly throughout the day I like start coughing and then I go to throw up but I don't actually throw up thank god but I don't know what it is it's really frustrating because it feels like I'm going to throw up luckily I haven't I don't know if that's a mind over matter thing or what but um I cannot man I do say I'm um, a lot that's super annoying I can't clean out Ollie's little potty which sweet little thing has officially got responsibilities so if he wants to wake up and poop in his little potty that we keep at the end of the bed He's cleaning it out, but the same with the peeing. He wakes up in the middle of the night, he'll go pee, get back into bed. He cleans it out. Like, he puts it in the toilet, and then he flushes the toilet, and then he takes his little potty over to the bathtub, and he cleans it out. Which is funny, because he, <laughs> he has to cover his nose, and he gags when he poops. But I, I've literally thrown up. Like, every single time I try to clean it, I, I throw up. I can't stomach it. It's awful. So he's gagging and he has to cover his face. And I told him, buddy, if you wake up in the morning and you need to poop, you can poop on the big boy potty. So this morning he woke up and he was like, Mama, Mama, I gotta poop. I wanna poop on the big potty. I was just like, Oh man, Clyde just went back to sleep. I've been sick, so I haven't been getting any sleep. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Just poop in the little potty. <laughs> You're so grown up and you make the right decisions, but I'm trying to stop you. Uh, um, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hormonally challenged it is so bad Tony thought I was kidding but um clearly he has realized I am not I cry all the time I cry all the time it doesn't matter if I'm happy or sad or I see something cute and I cry the boys say something sweet and I cry Tony shows me something stupid and I cry <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me and I hate everybody so <laughs> This pregnancy is going to be the death of me because I'm going to say the wrong thing to the wrong person at the wrong time and I'm going to be done. <laughs> um, family isn't too bad. I try to watch my mouth because I can't really come back from that even though they're going to forgive me, but I just hate everybody else. And that's not good. <laughs> that's a bad thing to set, like, role model to be in front of the boys because I... <laughs> I don't like people in general anyways, but now it's getting really hard to filter out my aggression. I'm an aggressive person, so I should probably just stay off the internet and stay in the house, which sucks because, but it's going to be winter, so we're not going to have any choice. Uh, strong smells. Oh. When I can breathe, my um, uh, sense of smell has heightened tremendously. It's kind of frustrating because it's not good smells that I smell. <laughs> it's really awful, but whatever. Um, the baby is officially growing at its own pace, so um, we will see if it's going to be a big fatty like Clyde or an average size like Ollie. I don't know. Um, I can feel the uterus. It's about halfway between my pubic bone and my belly button, so that's fun. And yesterday... Uh, Tony, my back hurts so bad, and I think it's because I'm sick. 
but Tony rubbed my back with a like a back massager, a handheld back massager, and he would rub my lower back, and then he would go up to my upper back, and then he would go up to my upper back. I felt these little kicks. It was so sweet. It was totally the baby. It wasn't a spasm. Like, I mean, I'm three kids in, so I, I know what it feels like. With Ollie, I felt him around 16 weeks. With Clyde, I felt him around 14 weeks. I'm just before 14 weeks with this one, so it's about the same time, give or take. I don't know, but it's definitely kicks, and it happened for the entire rest of the day, um, up until last night, and I feel it randomly throughout the day. I thought I was feeling it, but yesterday was like a for sure, for sure, that's the baby kicking, which has been fun. What's up? Okay. <laughs> Hi. And he's coming. Um, Clyde stopped nursing probably a month and a half ago because, um, I ended up nursing Ollie till, which is funny because he was 20 months and I was, he was 20 months old and I was 20 weeks pregnant. So he was almost two and I was six, three, four and five, five months pregnant. There we go. Yeah. Um, I think that's right. Oh God, that's going to be embarrassing if I got it wrong. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I had to stop nursing, forced weaned Oliver, broke my heart. I still feel really bad about it, but I started to get, um, a lot of bad feelings towards it. <laughs> I started to resent him. It hurt so much. Um, my milk had gone away. I think my colostrum was already in. I don't know. Um, but my nipples were super sensitive and my boobs hurt and <sighs> it turns out I just get angry when somebody's nursing and my boobs hurt. So with Clyde, I had already started weaning him slowly because um, <clears throat> even before I ended up being pregnant because at night, I don't want to nurse him anymore. I love him so much, but he's too. Um, I want to snuggle him and everybody's different. I mean, some people think it's gross that I've nursed him since after he was two. Some people think that I should never have weaned him. Hi! Um, no, don't touch that, that's yucky. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. I did. That's not daddy. <laughs> that's not daddy. Okay, back up, please. Thank you. Hey. For us, uh, I just, I just, I didn't want to night nurse him anymore, and throughout the day, I stopped nursing him in public because, no. I stopped nursing him in public because, I don't know, he's two. I just don't feel like he's that thirsty. I always have water with me. You can drink the water. I don't feel like stopping shopping now. I don't know. This is all probably making me sound like a monster, but I don't really care. Uh, so he was already down to like once or twice a day. And then when I became pregnant, it only took like a month or something. Put your hand down, please. Put your hand down! <laughs> And, um, I was already to the point where I wanted to stop nursing. So, luckily, he was already basically done. So, he doesn't nurse anymore. Um, but my colostrum is definitely in. So, I think that that's cute. Um, which also made me remember, I leak really bad when I'm pregnant. So, I haven't started leaking yet. Hope I don't because it's like open faucets. <laughs> it's frustrating, but whatever. Um, birth, I'm definitely going for an unassisted birth again. Um, Tony is going to be with me this time. I will do a video on that. Uh, that makes my heart happy. And uh, I don't know. That's basically it. I'll go to the doctor if I feel like I need to, otherwise, I'm not. Uh, the last time I went was to have the ultrasound on my ovary, which they decided to never give me the results back on, so I guess everything's fine. Seems the pain has slowly been dying down, and I don't feel like calling them to make an appointment. I don't really care. I don't need you to test my urine and then use a Doppler on my poor little infant unborn fetus when you don't need to. I do have a fetoscope, and I will be using that to listen to the heartbeat whenever I want to. Uh, I did the same thing on Clyde. Um, I think it's like 16, give or take weeks or all. And 
I will be getting a 20 week gestational ultrasound, which I didn't do with Clyde. I only got one way at the beginning to opt out twins because we have twins that naturally uh, occur on my side of the family. Um, which, obviously, that's the only thing that would count if you don't know anything about twins. But, uh, I look back now, and I would have liked to have had a 20-week ultrasound with him. <coughs> <coughs> not ups <coughs> Sorry. I'm not upset that I didn't. I wouldn't have anything later than that, because they would have told me that my water was too low and he was too big. Blah, 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 blah. And just, it would have been silly. I already know what they would have said. So... I will be having, that's one, and I don't think I'll actually be going through my OB for that. I think I'm going to find, um, do my, my homework and find some place that I can go and videotape it and they can give me the results and blah, blah, blah. They may end up having to give it to the OB, but I don't really care. I want to flip and film it, okay? Call me ridiculous. Uh, the reason why I do want a gestational ultrasound isn't for the gender, which, ah, oh, you know, we suck, and everybody else thinks we suck too, but we're not finding out the gender. We didn't with Clyde, and I loved it. Um, and everybody else can suck it. Plus, it's kind of exciting, so you guys get to wait with us. <laughs> uh, oh, because if there were to be something wrong, I wouldn't terminate the pregnancy, um, unless it was obviously going to kill me. Um, nine times out of ten, the baby... What will happen to the baby will happen to the baby. Um, I'm not going to terminate the pregnancy or, you know, everything would happen the way that it needed to happen. If there were to be some kind of disability with the baby, I would like to know so I could prepare myself um, for obviously the birth, depending uh, if there were any severe abnormalities and all that good stuff. But um, also just if there were certain things that I was going to end up having to look for when the baby was born and all that, just preparation. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't do the whole amniotesis. I can never pronounce it. I'm so illiterate. <laughs> but I, I don't have the amniotic fluid checked. I don't do all the blood work to see all this stuff because I feel like I don't need to. There's nothing that runs through my family that I feel like I need to get myself worth a check for. So that's what we're doing. So we're not finding out the sex. And I am going for in another unassisted childbirth, which will be exciting. Um, I think that might be it. This was actually a really long video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'll show you my belly. I'm just kind of fat. I've been really depressed lately because I have gained a lot of weight and I don't fit into anything and the baby is still so little. So... No, no, I don't want to show you. There you go. There it is. This thing keeps growing. I think that's where a lot of my weight is, is in this. But... There's some extra baggage on there, from the front, other side, weird belly button, it's weird. My little sister has always made fun of me for how deep my belly button is, which is weird because it really is deep for whatever reason. Um, it actually became an Audi with Clyde because he was so freaking big, how crazy is that? Anyway, if you guys have any more questions I can answer, uh, go ahead and comment below, and I will answer them, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>